Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your messages from Spirit Reading, <clears throat> which is from now to the end of July 2020 for the sign of Capricorn. I hope you're well Capricorn. So I'm going to pull an overarching Spirit message. I think one turned over. No, it decided not to. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Capricorn please? Now to the end of July, thank you. Okay Capricorn, we have forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. I mean, forgiveness is a form of release for you, not necessarily for other people. It's how we allow ourselves to move on. <clears throat> So what do we have for Capricorn, please? I'm going to pull one more message, Capricorn. That seems very f specific. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Okay. <laughs> it's a common theme, isn't it? We have let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you will be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good, good and guidance of spirit, as we have only your best intentions at heart, and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. Powerful message for some of you. Won't be for everybody. <clears throat> okay, I am suffering with allergies today, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Nice energy. We have number the, the Awakened Spirit card, a desire to change. A desire to change. And this month I'm using the Archangel Michael deck. So let's see what message we get. What do we have? For Capricorn. Love this energy we have. Go forward fearlessly. It is almost kind of like, let go. You can just move on. And it's almost kind of like, don't... You know, sometimes we try and second guess outcomes as well. Sometimes we try and second guess the consequences of our actions or what's going to happen if we make certain decisions. This is just about trusting your intuition and going forward, moving forward. And don't worry too much about what the overarching outcome is going to be. We have, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Lovely energy. Big message of go forward fearlessly there. Okay, let me just move those cards up a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. Right, so I pull three cards, Capricorn. This is the black and gold uh, tarot deck. I'm clarifying with the Radiant Wise Spirit deck. Okay. So I pull three cards. First card is the issue or challenge you have that you need to help from Spirit on. Second card is advice from Spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll get clarifiers to go deeper into the message. It won't resonate for everybody, so just take what resonates with you. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn. <clears throat> Message for our lovely Capricorns, please. Okay, we have the King of Swords card of Aquarius and we have the six of wands the victory card the ace of wands advice from spirit powerful new beginning here it is a power energy it's also an energy of action and we have the five of wands at the end okay so let's clarify the cards on the table please angel spirits guides for Capricorn now to the end of July 2020. What is the message Capricorn needs to hear, please? <clears throat> okay. King of Wands. Wow. I mean, two kings. So 
So it's a real kind of message of mastery. Mastering what's gone can also represent you might be moving on from a male energy, a male person. We have <clears throat> the Ace of Wands here, clarified with the Hermit. And the Nine of Wands is clarifying the Five of Wands. Bottom of the deck, Capricorn, we have the Five of Pentacles. So, I'm going to pull one more card for this Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for me for Capricorn, please. Four of Wands. This is the Happy Home card. And let's clarify this King of Wands. <clears throat> yeah, we have death. You know, I'm going to put this, I just literally glanced at this, the bottom of the deck, and it's you, Capricorn. It's you, so I'm going to put this down, because obviously I think Angel Spirits Guides are wanting to send you that message. You know, this is your energy at the end of the reading, so it's a really powerful message here. So then there's a message of forgive, forgive you, or forgive where you can forgive, but there's a big message of letting go. Now is the time to, to really be empowered, to move forward fearlessly. If there has been fear in moving forward in this situation because of uncertainty of the future, because you can't control what happens in the future, there's a feeling of that certainly with that let go card. You can't control the outcomes of situations, but you can certainly understand where you're going. <clears throat> and I certainly feel for some of you, we have two kings here. So the cards are certainly saying there is a victory here, maybe a decision or choice. I mean, the King of Swords is an Aquarian energy. So it can well be taking action towards a new vision with the King of Wands and the King of Swords, making de taking decisive action, uh, having a game plan as well. The King of Swords is really strategic. It might well be that all of a sudden you're seeing where you want to go. It is a directional energy. It's also somebody who sees the big picture now of their life with full clarity. It's air energy, powerful air energy. And has clarity in terms of where they're going, the decisions that they need to make, maybe the communication that they need to have, but very much the Aquarian energy. is It can be a liberating energy as well. It might well be you've had some dealings with the law too. There is a victory here. It's time to put something behind you, and that's what the Six of Wands says. Because even though you've been tested, you've come through the other side of a situation, or you will do, victorious. And like I said, that King of Swords can also be dealings with the law, justice system. Um, you know, it could be to do with this Five of Pentacles and the Four issues, or maybe splits or relationship splits, because we do have the Death card here. Um, in the home, in a, in a committed relationship. Somebody who you built a home with. So I certainly feel for some of you, the King of Wands is about having a vision, having clarity, and taking action towards it. Knowing that you can't control everything, but you can control your actions. This is somebody who is sitting in their power. So as an energy, it's an absolutely beautiful energy. The death card is a card of endings. It's a card of deep change as well, where you've undergone deep change, but you are coming through the other side of this Capricorn. And the message of the Phoenix Rising card, which is this card, the card of Scorpio, is it is time to shed an old skin. Whatever this, this I feel this ending was, <clears throat> it could have been involved the law as well, separation, maybe divorce or decisive action in terms of separation of assets. I mean, you kind of get what I'm saying here. The death card is it's time to rise in your own light now, you know, and allow yourself to shed an old skin. 
Yeah, it's it's a powerful, powerful card of Pluto, the planet of death, destruction, transformation and rebirth. And you are going through your rebirth. You're coming through the other side of a situation in your power, whether you know it or not. You have been tested and when you're tested, this is the go forward fearlessly card. Because this person has been tested and they've discovered what they're made of. They do, they've discovered their own power and that's the victory as well. It's a victory from within as well as without, for me as a reader. So it is about going forward fearlessly because this person knows that they may well encounter challenges going forward, but because they've already overcome something that's really significant in their life, a powerful ending, they're just like, bring it on, bring it on. Because, you know, I've been tested and I know what I'm capable of now. So it's a really empowered energy. I do think that for some of you there may well be a powerful um, influence of a, a man or a, a male influence or a masculine influence in this reading. <clears throat> we have, and I love this energy because you are being given the light here. This is your connection to God the Divine, the Universe. And it's interesting, we've got the card of Aquarius, the King of Swords, which you know links to the star card in the Major Arcana and the star is there in the Hermit's Lantern showing you the way. It's the vision. It can link with the Aquarian vision, the direction, but it starts from within. It's a message that you have the answers from within, the enlightenment, the direction on where you need to move forward in your external environment comes from within and that's where you need to take action towards this is what the ace of wands is in terms of opening a new door taking action towards bringing new growth new success new connections into your life it's time to find that spark that excitement that energy and put your energies towards something new and it's interesting because we have the four of wands here and obviously there has been an ending here and i feel it's to do with that because we have it with the five of pentacles and we have a new castle here in the distance so it is a kind of for me it's about finding answers in order to take action towards getting towards your new castle knowing that you can't control everything i mean that's what the cards are saying here but you certainly can control your own actions capricorn now so this can be linked with opportunity coming into your life. I mean, it can be in terms of career, business, it can be in terms of exciting people in your life, it can be just putting your energies in the right direction. You know, it's a powerful effort and energy card. Um, somebody who's in their power, somebody who is in connection with their desire and will to bring a new level of success in their life on every front. And the answers start from within. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. The only thing that's going to hold you back is... For some of you, I kind of feel... I mean, this can be a card of things getting out of control a little bit. I also feel... I mean, this can be about conflict to Capricorn. can also be about distractions, negative distractions. And it could be to do with this person here. Interference. Um, people sticking the roar in or not letting the journey end. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of slop, stop, slowing. Sorry, it is Mercury retrograde, so I am feeling it, certainly with my communication. Um, the Nine of Wands is a card of somebody who is so close, so close to bringing an ending to the past journey and they're ready, you know, and, and getting to where they want to be. And you know, this is a nine. The next phase is, the next step is a ten. And there's a message here that you're so close here. And I feel it's to do with this ending maybe, to bring an ending to whatever this is, the conflict, the distraction. And it's almost kind of like, one, I feel it's about putting your effort in the right direction. This person stands guard over the past and it stops them from moving forward, you know. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit of energy there, Capricorn. But also, if somebody is distracting you, see how this person looks at this? It's interesting how the cards have come out. It's stopping you from moving forward. This is a nine, a ten is completion in tarot. And the universe is saying, 
this is the month for some of you where you really can open that new door where you can really bring a completion to this situation so it's time to take action towards that the answers come from within with the hermit the card of virgo and i certainly feel i mean there could be a new beginning with a virgo as well for some of you it's a really powerful month to tune out the distractions and focus on what you need to do and again this is a distracting energy because your home has been destabilized now it might well have affected your money or finances and that's why there may well be some dealings with the law here as well some of you may feel ill-treated in terms of money finances getting your dues here I also feel that it can be this represents the destabilization of a home or relationship as well these people are out in the cold and they allow the negativity to consume them so they don't see the church next to them it's a Taurus energy it's to do with a hierophant so it's always a, a message that even in your darkest times your troubled times times of real instability here you are being blessed and guided and even though there has been some instability to do with it to do with this relationships the home you are being guided this is still the 1111 card this is still the universe is watching over you because it's a hierophant card so there's a big message that you need to le listen to your intuition here 1111 is the presence of angel spirits guides people that you've lost to the other side your ancestral line watching over you sending you blessings at this time so really listen to signs pay attention to signs messages data from any area and um, white feathers birds in the garden I mean you know I kind of say this a lot but this is why the victory comes from you seeing the big picture and that's what the king of swords does so well he sees the big picture you know and that's where the victory comes from here and I feel for some of you the Pentacles energy for me as a reader is linked with the law of attraction what you put out to the universe is what you get back if you allow negativity negativity of thought negativity of action owning you that is exactly where you get what you get back and the Queen of Pentacles and I'm so pleased that your card came out at the end here Capricorn because she is you she is somebody who understands how to plant her roots again who understands how to bring firm foundations to her life and this Queen is water and earth and what happens when you blend water and earth well there's growth there's growth and for some of you you have the answers from within if you take action towards what you feel what the answers your inner communication is telling you to take action towards that is how you come back to who you are come into your own come into your own light you know she is incredibly successful on the material front she can represent a single parent for me as a reader um, she is just somebody who understands how to really apply her own skills experience knowledge practical abilities to really bring abundance to her life on every level she's a self-sustaining queen unlike the other queens uh, that need other influences this is the self-sustaining queen that has water and earth so you see what I'm saying Capricorn it's you coming back to who you are you coming into your own again by being that Phoenix rising embrace change and do the practical things that you need to do take action the answers absolutely come from within that's what spirit is saying and don't and listen to this because the external world will just distract you this month on some level so the message is it's internal the direction the clarity it comes from within and that's how you come back to who you are it's a lovely message Capricorn now the ace of wands like I said can be opportunity uh, people coming into your life 
new beginnings so really powerful energy and it's interesting that it goes with this nine of wands it makes the ten a completion new beginning starting and that's what the death card was saying as well so the messages are really clear go forward fearlessly because you have everything that you need in you and someone's made you or distracted you from realizing that and that's why it's so interesting because that's why we have awakened spirit this is you desire to change but I think this is you embracing change and I think this is you awakening the spirit within you again reconnecting to who you are Queen of Pentacles really powerful Queen you have we're helping to bring a little luck your way you deserve it could be to do with this the Ace of Wands what you're focusing on now and the key thing is stay focused because these energies are really distracting so the victory comes from clarity of the mind and action I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you Capricorn and I will see you next time thank you